Why are you staring at me like that? Yo, what the f you want? Kim Kardashian becomes a demon and destroys Courtney and Chloe's self esteem. Tristan Thompson hints at proposing to Coco, plus, Kanye and Court share their love for, well, we'll just let them tell you. Hey guys, it's Allie for Hollywood Life with your weekly dash cap, and this episode had little tea but a ton of shade. Starting with Scott, who decides to prank Courtney over the phone. I'm at Sherman Oaks at this holistic doctor that's supposedly like number one at all diets all around the world. Oh, good. He's from Thailand and says that he's got something that nobody else has heard of. Like? <laughs> 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 no, honestly, he's got cat Can urine. Pick me up a bottle. I will, I will. I just, it's expensive, so I'll take care of it. Okay, thank you. Ew, but Court's basically like, if it's gluten-free, it's good for me. Anyway, this episode is mainly about Kim's trip to Japan to promote Kanye's new Yeezy collection. However, right before Kim and her sisters head out, Court and Ye bond over their love for, well. Do you like a we'll gay porn? Japanese porn? Yeah. I actually like Japanese porn. What a nice family bondage moment. I mean, bonding, bonding. But okay, Kim Ye's paparazzi runway concept is actually pretty dope, and it's interesting to see how quickly Kim is going in and out of buildings to change outfits. She's basically the Clark Kent of fashion, but instead of going in and out of phone booths to slay villains, she's just slaying. Also, shout out to Marcus Hyde. We see you, buddy. But all right, while Kim's breaking necks in Japan, another Superman reference, she's also breaking her sister's self-esteem by going in on their fashion sets. My sisters look so... Crazy. Like, it's actually embarrassing. Courtney with the Japanese inspired outfits, and <laughs> Chloe's wearing silver sequins, turquoise eyeshadow, huge chandelier earrings. They're just like completely clashing and just making my outfit look really bad, and they're ruining everything. I can't even eat dinner because I'm so disgusted with my sister's crazy outfits that completely don't go with my look. Like, I can't take it. If you're not matching, you're clashing. Wise words from yours truly. Anyway, Kim K continues to slam her sister's looks and starts calling them clowns. So I gotta be real with you guys. You look like f***ing clowns. Oh, I'm not f***ing kidding. This is not like a tourist thing where it's like, it's Halloween, dress up like a f***ing Japanese geisha. Unless yeah. we're at a geisha house. Well, you look like you just won the Tour de France and you're cycling around town. <laughs> You'd think Kim would eventually stop dissing Courtney, but nope, she continues to go after her. You look like grandma, 100%. Yeah. Like you don't look anything special. Like you don't look anything like innovative. And I think you have it in you. It's just you better evolve before you fizzle out. Kim just shattered my shadar. She's a borderline fashion demon at this point. However, Kim tries to be better at voicing her opinions, and well, she just ends up dissing Chloe instead. Maybe if we just compliment Chloe on the days we do like her hair, then she'll take the hint, then we'd never be complimenting her. Chill. Yeah, hold on. Speaking of Coco, during Kris Jenner's storyline, which you won't care about at all, trust me, Tristan Thompson talks to the momager about getting Chloe a push present, hinting at a proposal. You know, Corey bought me for Christmas a couple years ago this really beautiful little diamond ring that's like you can put it on any finger. Yeah. Um, you know, until you get that really huge diamond that's going to go on a ring finger. Of course, eventually. Yeah. Yeah. I think jewelry's kind of the same. And she'll be so excited and surprised. Yeah. Okay, love you. I love you too. I think Chris meant to say, love you, until the episode where I find out you're a cheating, lying bastard. Bye! But all right, guys, click right up here to subscribe, hit the bell button down below, and let us know the meanest thing you've ever said to someone in the comments below. Mm, good one. Also, don't forget to watch the show Sunday nights, only on E!